Today I want to talk about the Italianate style. This is from 1840 to 1885. And the Italianate style is very, very unique. Um, the structure themselves, the massing of them is typically in a square, kind of a cube form, two story in height and equal proportions um, from depth and width of the space. The roof typically had large overhangs with brackets, decorative brackets supporting that overhang, and then a, um, a pyramid or a, a hipped roof over that. And at the pinnacle, at the, at the point, topmost point of the, of the roof would be a cupola or some kind of structure like that to emphasize the way that roof is coming up and have a little element on top there. A lot of the, you know, a lot of the uh, Italianate style translates later into some of the Spanish kind of um, styles, you know, it has a lot of that relationship to, uh, to, to that architecture. And so a lot of the art, the windows are arched um, and some of the doors are arched. Some of the, the front doors might be double doors with uh, semi arches in one door so that when they come together, they complete and make one single arch. Um, little details like that, the window head casing and all that on the exterior was very detailed and ornamental um, which added a lot of interest to this particular style. This is probably one of the most or the easiest styles to recognize other than some of the later ones like Prairie and Craftsman and things like that but the uh, Italianate style is very very unique in its form whereas some of the Georgian and Adam and then um, the Greek Revival styles, a lot of those are starting to kind of blend together. Um, and then we take a step kind of outside the box, still creating a box though, and looking at something a lot more ornamental and a, something that has a lot more uniqueness to it. So it, the Italian style is very interesting to me and I hope you find it interesting as well. This style is very recognizable. Um, because it's extremely unique and has uh, a lot of interesting features in the massing. The um, massing is more square-like in its overall form. And the, um, the roof is typically has a large overhang with a hipped roof. So each side of the roof is sloped. There is no, there is no um, gable. And then at the top of this you, you would often see um, some form of a cupola. Uh, mimicking the roof below it. In order to support these large overhangs, there was um, there was there was bracket there were brackets ornate, pretty ornate brackets up underneath these um, supporting these supporting this roof here
And then a lot of the openings were actually were arched. Um, were arched openings. So let's see. This is your full one. You might have windows that come all the way to the floor and have a gentle sloping arch to them. And the door, entry door, was usually fairly ornate. Um, sometimes a double door with like a half slope to each one, creating a f creating a full arch with some uh, trim and ornamentation above that even some pilasters and um, maybe some bracket type things supporting that and then um, the trim could be fairly ornate it could even uh, have um, keystone type elements or uh, carvings um, a lot of different decorative items could be in these in these windows. But still fairly symmetrical. This is the Italianate 1840 to 1885. 